Hey everybody, Michelon here. I'm checking in briefly to give you a quick update on what's going on. So, here we go. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a very short video because I actually already shot this video, but I don't know what I do with the footage. That's crazy. But um, it's just an update on what's been going on. At the beginning of the year, I actually had started um, this channel um, for my five minutes in business segments again. And then... A lot happened. I got sick, so I kind of was away. So we are cranking this bad boy up now. We are fully ready. And what we're going to begin with is uh, working on <clears throat> our business. Now, I have a business, and um, I've had it for the past three years. And the last six months, I it's been open, but I haven't done any marketing. So basically, my sales did drop. And anytime that you kind of step away from marketing in any type of business structure, when you come back, it's like starting over. So that's basically what we're doing, starting over. Um, like I said, I had some personal things going on, was not uh, feeling uh, well for a period of time. And so... I stepped away from everything to handle my personal affairs as far as work. I don't know why it looks like something on my face, but it's not. <laughs> but anyway, um, so um, in this video, I'm just going to talk about where I am. First of all, where I was is starting over, reestablishing my marketing strategy, reestablishing the goals for the business, um, seeing where I wanted to go with that, and then planning how I was going there. So I officially restarted Monday, which was the 8th, the 8th of August. Today is the 12th of August or 13th one. So I think it's the, it's the 13th. And so anytime that you have a break in your business, you definitely have to kind of start over and restructure. Um, the period of time that I was down, things were already changing. Once COVID started, things started to change and then marketing changed um how we market changed for me uh in my business who i'm marketing to is changing a little bit i'm still a plus size store my store is a plus size store but um the people um the young ladies that i am marketing to now is between 25 and uh, 35, um, plus size, um, bodies, body wise, they don't necessarily have the Coke bottle shape in their plus bodies. Um, they may, um, they have their, uh, different things, you know, their mothers, their, uh, professionals that work in customer service or professionals that work in the medical industry. Um, like I said, 25 and up. So, um, they still like comedy shows. They still like um, going out. They still like going to the casinos. Um, like I said, again, they are mothers. They do like sports, football, and basketball specifically. Um, they like the car, like the mid-size range vehicles, Altimas, et cetera, et cetera. So basically what I did, I used to have a few girls that model for me, and I still have some of them. But what I also wanted to do is get some items that I can model myself. I am not the uh, type of body that needs, like, that can wear a crop top. For me, that's not acceptable. Some people don't care how they look and they'll put it on. That's not me necessarily. I want to wear something that I know will make my body look good um, or the and that I can feel confident in. I don't have to feel self-conscious in the light. So, um, for me, that means... Um, a straight look, a line, something to that nature. I'm also big busted, so I have to get things that accommodate appropriately. So for me, I wanted some things that I could also market to make it easier to get them from a uh, purchase to the site. 
Um, and so that's what I am working on. Uh, that uh, reestablishing my marketing influencers, reestablishing the relationship that we have and how we will put our um, content out from now on. Um, content is king right now. It always has been, but it's definitely now. So that's something that I am working on. Um, and getting back to a regular marketing schedule. One of the biggest things that grows a business is consistency. Um, quality content, content and consistency is like the big kahuna when it comes to growing. So that's what we're working on. Um, you know, on this channel, I have talked a lot about um, the things that I've done uh, in business, talked about different types of business, and we will continue to do that. But um, what I am doing now is also bringing you guys on along for the ride as I uh, work to reestablish my business. Okay, so um, another thing about what's going on. Um, I bought new inventory. Um, I got, uh, images for my new inventory and I put it out. So then from there, what I do is I sit down and I make out a schedule. We'll have a monthly schedule every week. There'll be a goal. And then from there, I take feature items or new items. Like if we're not having the new arrivals drop, um, I decided every Monday will be our new arrivals day. So if we're not doing a new arrivals drop, uh, we will have feature items that are already in stock that we will show and we will feature for that week. And then we use those pictures and images, et cetera, to accomplish the goals for the business for that week. So like I said, I started on Monday. Today is Saturday. My goal this week was just to start back earning uh, money, um, start back growing, start back. Um, no, let me be more specific. My main goal for the week was to start to increase the amount of people that go to the site and also feed my funnel. Um, if you're not feeding new and previously seen people into the funnel of your business, it will die. Got to feed your funnel. So that's what been one of the main things that I've been focusing on. I have accomplished it. Now, I usually day-to-day -day have certain uh, uh, marketing posts to put up, certain this, certain that. Now, I did not do that for this week. I did post every day of the week. I put reels on IG. I also put reels on Facebook, and I posted some TikToks. Um, I have a hate-hate relationship with TikTok. People post there, they, you know, and just blow up. That has just not been my experience. Like, I just cannot buy a good anything on there. But I'm still there and I'm still trying. Maybe it's just not my turn. And that's that's something that happens in business. Also, people get too comfortable trying to go viral for that moment instead of building a consistent business. So, what I would like to accomplish with TikTok is to... Um, increase my visibility uh, to the people who fall into uh, my genre. And I would like to increase the visits to my site and therefore feed my funnel better. So that is the goal that I have for the business. Um, every week I will set a goal for the week and then we will move forward on that goal. Um, the biggest thing and the most important thing in your business structure is marketing. For me right now, I'm not marketing. I'm not at the level I need to be. I'm still growing that. I'm still getting things together so that I can push them out there. So that's kind of where I am. So um, that's pretty much it for the first week. So I'm going to check in with you guys uh, once or twice a week, let you know what we have going on in the business, let you know where we are, what we did, and how that worked. So my main goal for the first week was increasing visibility and getting back into a marketing uh, uh, calendar and marketing strategy. And we did accomplish that. I said, I said for that brief second about sales, which we're at the end of the day, that's what you want. But, um, and I did get sales, but um, not where obviously I'm trying to get to, but still, 
I've got to feed my funnel. I got to see that everything is working. I got to uh, go through my website, anything old that I need to take off. I need to do that. And I need to make sure I have the absolute best content on there. And then we'll grow from there. So that's what's going on uh, with us here. Um, we are also working on a new store. Uh, this new store, actually two new stores, but right now the new store is going to be uh, an, an, a wholesale site. So we will offer wholesale products. The reason that we wanted to do the wholesale is that we wanted to offer wholesale products to uh, business owners and also offer them the ability to use uh, the buy now, pay later. Um, that is one of the main things we're going to set up uh, once we get there. So we are in the planning phases of that. Um, we really should be doing a little more when it comes to planning, um, taking a little bit more time where we are shortcutting somewhat uh, what we should be doing, but um, it's going to be enough that the business should be able to open and, you know, have readily available customers. So we'll talk more about that down the road as well. But um, in conclusion and to recap, uh, we started working back on our plus size store. And we started to work on feeding the funnel. We And we uh, did some beautification on the website to get things back together to try to make sure that we go through each of the images, make sure that they're the right size and, you know, do everything we can to make sure that the site uh, is loading appropriately because that was the issue that we had in the past. And um, we got back to marketing. Um, that's the key element that's going to make you money in your business. And you have to make sure you have a plan for that. As a matter of fact, if you have, let's say $500, um, when you open your store, at least $250 to $300 of that money should be going to marketing, which means that you only have another $200 to buy your inventory. But marketing is very important. A lot of people have all these great expectations about business, but they don't have a strong marketing presence. And so when things don't go their way right off, they get discouraged and within six months they're closed. So that's not what we're trying to do. Um, and another thing we did is put things in place so that uh, even if there is a time that I walk away to go over here and do something else, although we still fulfill orders if orders come in, because whenever I'm doing other things, I never take the site down or close the store or anything like that. We don't do that. Um, but um, I put in place a, a way to ensure that the store is going to run even if I'm uh, ill, because like I told you, I got sick for a while. And so... Um, that that was something that was exposed to me. You know, you need to make sure that your business can still run even if you're not there. So we worked on that as well. So that's it. Thank you guys for taking the time to come check me out. Thank you for listening to this video. Please share it with uh, family and friends who may be into a business or maybe struggling with their business and they can go on this process with us as we revamp our business and open a new store. Um, but thank you guys. Thank you for the, taking the time and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.